Yesterday was yet another episode in the saga of the cesspool that is the Destiny 2 Twitter. There was a particular dev, who I'm not going to name, who is being harassed for talking about Twilight Garrison, the old D1 exotic, if you guys remember it. He used to get a, a mid-air dash, and it allowed Titans to be uh, an even fast... They were already the fastest character in the game if you knew how to skate, but this exotic allowed them to do even more tricks and allowed the movement to be even better. So the, the Twilight Garrison was literally the crown jewel on top that made Titan what it was for Destiny 1 and why everybody loved it so much. So this particular dev went on to talk about how warlocks harness this power now and how they, uh, they're the ones with the mid-air dodge and Twilight Garrison isn't coming back for Titan in Destiny 2. That's basically what they said straight up. So with this... With saying this, they seem to have pissed off uh, some nostalgic Nathans that played Destiny 1 for whatever particular reason. And instead of just giving their opinion and being angry about it, they're personally attacking and threatening these devs. And I, I seriously don't understand like how this is still a recurring issue. This seems to be coming... Uh, seems to become... This has seemed to become a recurring issue within the Destiny 2 Twitter sphere, if you want to call it that, in which people are making personal attacks to devs, community managers, etc. Anybody that works for Bungie, it could literally be the janitor and they would find a reason to hate them. But the point is, is, is it's just sad what the Destiny 2 Twitter sphere has become. I, it's gotten to the point where I don't even have Twitter on my phone anymore from like from my personal own experiences with it and again i think the devs get this tenfold because of how much people it's it's kind of a meme to shit on the game i'm guilty of that too i've done that i'll take accountability for that but to go as far as making personal threats is just kind of gross and i really do think bungie needs to put their foot down in some shape or form in which um they shouldn't just be blocking these people these people deserve to be permabanned if they're making personal threats to the devs. There's a difference between giving your opinion on the game and being banned for that and making personal attacks and being banned for that. Like, obviously you should never be banned for giving your opinion on the game, no matter how good or how bad it is, but like, it's just too far. It's too far. And I unfortunately think this will be a problem that continues to happen within the Twitter space unless Bungie really puts their foot down on this. Whether they need to put something in the terms of service, maybe it's already outlined in which they have the right to ban anybody for any reason, but it's just disgusting to see, and it doesn't give the Destiny 2 community a good look. Not to say that there aren't good things that happen within the community, but when people hear about stuff like this, especially on Twitter, this is the stuff that spreads like wildfire, and it's just... This is the kind of uh, mentality that people are going to have when they think about Destiny 2 on Twitter. And that's obviously not what you want for your game. So the even crazier part to me is that the story is like narrated through, through these people's heads that attack the devs. That there's like one dev or person at Bungie in particular that like runs the whole show. They think there's like one person in charge of choosing what exotics are in the game, how what the sandbox changes are, future DLCs, like... That's just not how that works at all. And this is coming from someone who is very critical of the game. I've had my good takes. I've had my bad takes. Trust me. Because I've been blocked by devs without even saying a single word to them. Never made any personal attacks to dev. I just, I, I give my honest opinions on the game. Sometimes I get a little bit heated and a little bit overboard. Because I'm very passionate about the game and I love it. But there's obviously a line to be drawn. And I don't understand what is so hard about figuring out how not to cross that. Bungie, you need to put your foot down and start permabanning these clowns. If they're making personal attacks to, to your employees, you need to be permanently banning these people from your game. Not just blocking them on Twitter. It's just gross. Why would you want these people even playing your game? If, if your game is something advertised as like, you, you get to play with your friends and have this great experience, those people are not going to help promote that sphere within your game. They're not going to. At the end of the day, you guys have to remember, Bungie is a business. They have employees with families to feed, and they're not going to get everything right. 
they're going to operate as a business and what's best for them, which doesn't always reflect in the best um, changes for the game, in my personal opinion. And I, I, I totally understand, like, not everything you do or say is going to make people happy. And I, this is coming from someone who's had plenty of personal attacks, especially over oil glitching. If you remember that, I've had my life threatened uh, more than a few times over swapping weapons in a video game. And I will say that it, it didn't really feel like anybody had my back when that happened, but I know how it feels to be there. And it's not cool, but you need to put your foot down, otherwise those clowns are going to keep coming back. The one mistake besides not putting their foot down that I think was made here is that all the tweets were deleted from the account, including the ones about Twilight Garrison. This was a mistake because that lets the haters feel like they won. So that just further encourages them to do stuff like this again. I know it sucks getting a ton of negative tweets towards you, but the best thing you can do is literally just delete Twitter off your phone or close it. Like, just act like it doesn't exist. Waking up, showering, sitting down at my desk and opening Twitter to another Destiny dev being harassed, and that's the only thing going on with the game every day, is probably one of the most depressing things ever, and doesn't make me want to tweet about the game, I'll tell you that. People need to stop being nostalgic about Destiny 1 stuff. Let it be what it was. It's the game it was because it was what it was. Not what it needs to be for Destiny 2. It's its own separate thing. Anyways, to the dev who got harassed, I'm terribly sorry that happened to you. If you want a game, hit me up. If not, no worries. Thank you guys for watching.